Hello everyone, you're welcome. My name is Jackie Immaculate Chirabo. I'm your favorite dietitian and wellness expert at Nela. Today I would love to discuss a topic that's really very, very common of late. Most of us have someone who has diabetes in our families. We've seen an auntie, a relative. We know someone who has diabetes. But how is it managed? I could say, what are some of the symptoms that someone has this condition? Because it's a chronic condition and it can be managed if you get to know about it early before it causes adverse effects. diabetes is a condition that's characterized by insulin resistance this is where your hormone insulin cannot ferry the blood sugar into the cells to be utilized into the muscles to be utilized as energy and because of this there's blood sugar build up in your blood and your blood sugar levels are elevated and if they're assessing for the diabetes still they'll look out for the blood sugar levels some of the quick symptoms that show that someone has diabetes are excess hunger and thirst frequent urination tingling sensations in the hands the legs and these are things that most people get and they just sway off well if you are there and you're watching this video and you know someone who has diabetes or you have been diagnosed with this condition i just want to share with you a few tips on how to manage it type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle disease that means that to manage it or to curb it you need to change your lifestyle and the few tips i'm going to share in this video will help with the lifestyle changes that you need to make the first is your diet, diet changes. But well, what happens during the diet changes? We take out some foods, some of which are known to quickly raise blood sugars. So because there's a malfunction somewhere, we do not want any food that's going to quickly spike up your blood sugars and make them so high, higher than normal. So we take out all foods that quickly raise blood sugars. And the baseline for picking these foods is referred to as glycemic index. So some foods that the foods that have a high glycemic index, they quickly raise your blood sugars, they spike them up very fast. And some foods have a low glycemic index. That means they do not quickly raise your blood sugars. They take time. So if you are a diabetic, I'd love to list for you the foods that have some of the foods that have a low glycemic index and some of the foods that have a high glycemic index however some foods are moderate and so you choose between the ones that have low and the ones that have a high and you learn how to make a meal plan for yourself and you learn how to curb this condition so that it does not affect you and if you learn how to make the diet changes you will not need much medication you can reverse it and your sugars go back to normal but this can only be done if you consistently follow a diet plan as i'm going to explain first some fruits have a really high glycemic index i could mention some of them for example pineapple pineapple quickly spikes up your blood sugar and so for any diabetic out there you avoid any food that has that pineapple jackfruit mango some of these foods they quickly spike up your sugar so for fruit fruit is not bad but some fruits will quickly spike up your blood sugars and others will not some of the fruits that do not spike up your blood sugars quickly are for example apples pears watermelon those are some of the fruits that you should be choosing from most of the time oranges are also good and avoid fruits that are very sweet and then the other point i would love to note about fruits is avoid fruit juices when you blend or 
fury or juice a fruit you increase its sugar you don't increase the sugar content but you increase the availability that means that when you drink the juice it's quickly going to just spread through your blood system and raise or spike up the sugars so you avoid fruit juices most of the time and eat your fruit as a whole so first first tip you must know is if you are diabetic kick out any form of fruit juices and eat your fruits as a whole let me talk about vegetables if you love juices you aim for vegetable juices reason the vegetables all vegetables most of the vegetables have a very low glycemic index just to mean they do not quickly spike up your blood sugars so if you love juices which i recommend you could do smoothies let them be vegetable smoothies spinach broccoli cauliflower blend those and if you're to add a fruit let me say add a fruit that is low that has a very low glycemic index like an apple like a watermelon and do not save your juices when you do not save your juices they have the fiber and the pulp so when you save them and take away the pulp you're drinking basically only the sugars and they'll, they'll spike up your blood sugar and that's one of the key things we avoid for a diabetic client the other tip i don't know how to emphasize the benefit of water for any condition but for whatever disease or whatever complication someone has hydration really offers a benefit it offers much support and much benefit so ensure that you hydrate the other thing you need to look into is the starchy vegetables there are some starchy vegetables when i talk about starchy vegetables i'm talking about things like rice matoke all those there are some that quickly raise your sugars and for me as a dietitian the two i would recommend most is pumpkin and matoke yam those are foods that do not quickly spike up the sugars so if you are having your lunch meal choose from those two pumpkin squashes matoke and yam those are the most oh, the best for a diabetic and still the portions as well matter if your sugar levels are still so inflated you start by having at least just one serving of the pumpkin make sure that half of your plate has vegetables they can be cooked or they can be raw as earlier discussed the vegetables do not raise your sugars so that means that those are some of the best foods for you to consume any kind of vegetables nakati buga dodo uh, broccoli cauliflower spinach all kinds of vegetables that we have make sure that half of your plate has those vegetables then the quarter can have the starchy vegetables it can either be pumpkin or yam or matoke it is important that you choose one starchy vegetable in my in my country or in uganda people love to have like varied starchy vegetables matoke rice and then maybe pumpkin and then cassava if you have diabetes you avoid that kind of style and you pick just one if it is matoke let it be matoke if it is pumpkin let it be pumpkin and you aim for just a serving of it a serving is just the size of your fist and then the other part of the diet i would love to discuss is what people call maybe the sauce like what am i going to eat as my sauce or the soup so the soup make sure you choose plant based by plant based i mean you choose the legumes the beans the peas beans are so good for diabetes management they help to lower the blood sugar so you do lots of beans do lots of peas legumes lentils choose most of those ground nuts are also okay so let your sauce be mainly from the plant sources and then once in a while if you are to do mix choose the white mix they are better and if you're to do any red meat let it be without fat it's better you do chicken and this preferably the local chicken fish is also good because we need also plant sources of protein and these you can do at least twice and the rest of the week you can do only the beans the peas the ground nuts with that kind of diet you've curbed your sugar levels they're not going to spike up so quickly if you have diabetes or know anyone who has diabetes please share with them this knowledge the other tip i would love to to emphasize is for people with diabetes exercise really really is beneficial 
it makes the cells more permeable to insulin and so because they are more permeable the sugars are going to be able to be utilized so exercise is very beneficial for a, a diabetic client most of the diseases all the chronic diseases that people have they are escalated by weight so for anyone out there who has diabetes especially type 2 in particular weight loss is so much recommended it is important that you you lose the weight and when you lose the weight it will help you in the long run and maybe the other thing i would love to emphasize is ensure that you do lots of vegetables avoid fruit juices exercise as much as you can and drink adequate amounts of water the last key point that i would point to is make use of herbs and herbal teas there are herbal remedies and supplements that are very beneficial one of the best herbal teas for diabetes management is cinnamon cinnamon research shows that it helps lower the blood sugar there are also some superfoods like bitter melon that are so good for blood sugar management look for those instead of taking med medication consistently which could escalate even and cause more effect in the future it is important that you try at least to do to manage your condition with the natural ways i do not mean to say that stop taking medication no i mean that try as much as you can to manage your blood sugar with the natural remedies and with that consistently check the sugars if you're following a diet it's important that you keep assessing yourself to see are they high have i maintained that this have i made some changes that is so key and so important for anyone out there thank you so much Jackie Immaculate Rawa is my name your favorite dietitian and wellness expert at Nella follow Nella on Instagram on Twitter and Facebook at Nella Organics follow your favorite dietitian on Twitter and Instagram at your favorite dietitian check out the Nella website at nellaorganics.com thank you so much i hope this information is beneficial to you